So I think a good title for this segment would be "My Knee Is 84." My right knee is 84 years old. Your right knee? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm not 84. <laughs> yeah. But, but it. there's a story there. Okay. So I'm at a Christmas party, and this, you know, the, here's the downside of being a therapist, and I know oh, you know this all the time. When yeah. you tell somebody you're okay. a physical therapist, okay. they feel the need to yes. tell you about all their maladies. <laughs> so I'm at a Christmas party. I'm talking to this guy who's 84 years old, and he goes, "Oh yeah, I have terrible pain in my right knee." You know, he says, "Yeah, but I'm 84 years old. What do you expect?" And I go, well, what about your left knee? I go, that's 84 years old. And he goes, wow, yeah. Oh, yeah right. So it's not about aging, mm -hmm. all right? Because if it were, both of his knees would hurt. What it is, is there's something wrong in the knee, all right? Particularly the way it tracks. And I have to say, uh, the Danes are brilliant. They came up with a program called GLAD, G-L-A-D, Good Life, uh, with arthritis in Denmark and their very first program was the knee okay and what they realized is they could teach people to learn how to track the knee better and the knee joints a weird joint it's the only one in your body like it because it has this little bone your patella all right your kneecap mm -hmm. and you have these weird condyles underneath that it has to slide over when you bend it and if it doesn't go in that little groove all right, if it slips to a side, it's going to track over these condyles and it's going to rub on it, it's going to be painful, it's going to make it so the muscles don't contract and you're going to end up with a lot of problems. All right, so what we're going to do today is show you how to check your tracking uh, in your knee and how to see if you're going to have any problems and how to actually work on better tracking. So first thing is, if you look at your knee, and it looks like this, if it comes in, mm -hmm. all right, or it goes like that, it kind of has a weird angle out, probably you're gonna have some tracking problems, all right? Your knees should be straight. The next thing is when you bend forward, that patella should go straight. It shouldn't go to the side, it shouldn't go this way, it needs to go straight. So take a look at yourself in the mirror, look to see if there's an angle, try bending your knees and watch what that kneecap does. Does it point straight? or does it point to the side, all right? And for example, right now, mine's, I don't know if you can see, but mine's pointing out. So for me to do my lunges and exercises, I need to pull my knee in. It took me years to realize that. I had bad knee pain when I would run. When I learned about this and I started tracking my knee correctly, I can now do lunges, squats, all of those things are so much better. So pay attention, all right? So Dana's gonna show you how to work with this, okay? Part of the GLAD program. And one thing I, I wanna point out too, when you have pain in your knee, I think more than any other joint, the big muscle that stabilizes your knee, your quadricep, doesn't wanna work. It yeah, doesn't yeah, wanna yeah, work yeah. well. So there's a phenomenon, it's called quad shutdown, where the quad actually works much less because it's painful for the knee. Yeah. So then you end up in this bad cycle where yeah. you're weak because of the pain and the pain doesn't let you get stronger. So this is a great way to yeah. start training yourself. So I like to use, um, when I'm looking at my patients to see how they're tracking a step down test. So on a small step, a step at home, whatever you have, just have somebody step off the front of the step how they would naturally and then assess their movement. You can do this on your own if you have a mirror. So what you're gonna look for is the kneecap motion. So when you go down, the knee should be straight. Yep. Okay. That's what you're looking for. Now often you're gonna see this collapse in like that, or you might see a little wobble out like that. Now that's how you know Training, retraining is really important. And sometimes if you just educate yourself or your patients or you practice on yourself, oh, I actually should be going forward, you can make big changes just by thinking about it. So if you, that awareness of what to do is huge. So that's a place to start and then you can check yourself and recheck yourself on that. But a great exercise, and this is part of the GLAD program that Carol has taught me um, is, to use something you can either put a towel on a hardwood or linoleum floor or paper down on a carpet. You're gonna sit into a little bit of a squat position and now the work is on this stabilizing leg. So again, that kneecap should be forward. That's tracking forward, not tracking in or out. As I move this leg, this knee needs to stay really stable. So I'm gonna start by taking my leg out to the side and back to the center. Now this can be quite hard, so you can hold on to a chair to start. 
Use visual cueing. If you can do it in front of a mirror, that's great. You're gonna do like eight pushes to the side. Now you can also do multi-angle. You can come up, you can come back, and as you get advanced, you can even make a semi-circle. Now, as I can feel this leg getting tired, and what you're gonna see, or if you have tracking issues, you're gonna see this leg kind of wobble around. That's what's gonna cause you your pain. So stop, so stop, stop doing, doing it. it, right. So really start with about three sets of eight in different directions, three times a week, and that's been shown to actually really make good improvement for um, the tracking, like your, just your ability to track your knee forward. And then you can carry it through into a squat. So once you know how to do proper tracking of your patella, you can actually use it when you're squatting, which is a common thing in fitness and also something we do all day when we get up out of a chair. Also, we're squatting a lot during the day. So when you're squatting, you don't want your knees to cave in, you don't want them to go out, you want that kneecap to track forward. So you wanna shift your weight a little bit back, stick your butt out behind you, and the kneecap's gonna go forward and up. So then that glad workout that you're doing with the slide to the side, you just carry through that leg position on your squat. All right, so anything to add on that? Yeah, no, no, uh, well, it's a, it, this is just one piece of the GLAD program. Yes. You know, it's a great thing to start, see if it's helping you. Mm -hmm. And if you want a further progression, therapists know how to progress this yes. and they can really get you up to where you want to be. That's right. So it's, a, it's you know, this isn't all of it. No. But this is a great part of it to get you started. Right. For some of you, it'll be enough. For, for others, you yeah. might want to go further with it. Yeah, so this is exactly. So start with that three sets of eight on the slide as part, just when you're really working the tracking issues, your body is going to learn what to do and then follow it up with a few functional squats about three sets of eight on those and you'll have a really good routine to start you with build reducing pain in your knee due to tracking issues all right that's it sounds good those are your exercises for aging well